Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. I am finally continuing on with my Tea Thoughts 7 Days of Spring box, which is about time because it's basically summertime now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not. Spring is finally springing here in Michigan. But let's go ahead and dive into day 4. Here we have day four. Let's open up this part. There's probably a lot of background noise in this video. I do have the doors open because it's like 60 degrees today, but they are also doing construction um, on the street that's like right behind my house. I don't even know what they're doing. We don't actually have bad roads where I live, which is surprising for Michigan. They're so pretty. So we have some chopsticks here. And they have some Sakura Blossoms on them. And then let's see what's in this little box. Charming. Uh, I believe this is just a little rest for your chopstick. It is in the shape of a, a Sakura Blossom as well. It looks, it looks like, I mean it's white, but it almost looks like there is like a pink hue to this, like a pink tint. It's really lovely. So yes, this was day four. And I think, I don't actually know how to use chopsticks. I'm not even gonna try to convince you otherwise, but I do have a little treat for myself. So I'm gonna try to use them. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I should Google how to use chopsticks first. One of the things that I have wanted to try for a while now is eat spent gyokuro leaves. And, and I know that sounds really weird, but when you look at them up close, or just in general, after, after they've been steeped, they're just like the most tender and inviting looking leaves I've ever seen. And apparently, apparently, eating gyokuro leaves is a thing. So um, it's not just me, it's not just me being weird. So all I did was um, this morning I steeped up some gyokuro and it was amazing. I followed some directions that were in the um, Japanese green tea guide that was included in the seven days of spring box. So my new default is to steep gyokuro according to those guidelines because it was it was the most mind-blowing cup of gyokuro I've ever had. I think it was um, five grams of gyokuro leaf to like a third of a cup of water that's 120 degrees and you let it steep for two minutes, and what it produces is basically like a shot of gyokuro. Like it's just this thick, umami-packed shot of tea, and I kid you not, like I drank it, and the only response that I could come up with was just to like laugh, because it was so amazing. Like, oh my god, I'm s I, I still can't stop thinking about it. Like, it just like, it just, you know how occasionally you'll have, occasionally you'll drink a tea or or occasionally you'll steep a tea a different way and it just like changes forever how you experience tea or that experience that kind of tea. Like that, that happened to me today. Like, <sighs> so I have had these just kind of chilling on my counter for the last hour or two, waiting for Oliver to go down so I could film this video. But so what I have here is the spent gyokuro leaves and I just dressed it up with some soy sauce and now I'm gonna taste it. I'm very excited. Still don't know how to use these. Okay, hold on. I didn't look up a video. I'm just, don't be offended if I'm not using these right. They're just not very common here in my little tiny town of 3,000 people, so. And then you might say, itadakimasu. Here's how it looks, by the way. For me, mostly it, it I mean, it mostly tastes like soy sauce. 
So for me, it's more of a texture thing. It's very tender and very delicate. And there's something about the way my teeth cut through the leaves that's incredibly satisfying. Like this is everything that I kind of thought it would be. I mean, it mostly just tastes like soy sauce. Um, when you get sort of the, if you get a piece with the stem or the vein, there is a little bit of a, a bite in there. But it's still really good. <laughs> I just feel really happy right now. I'm so glad I finally got to try this. So yeah, this is day four of the Tea Thoughts Seven Days of Spring box. Finally, it was these beautiful Sakura printed chopsticks and I'm using them to eat um, gyokudo leaves. These are from um, <clears throat> Japanese Green Tea Company. which I still really recommend. Almost kind of gives me like a, like a really, like flavor wise, it just seems like a really, really, really mellow nori wrap, like the seaweed wraps. It's noon. I told you I lived in a, a village of 3,000 people. We're basically a farm town. And every day at noon and every day at 10, they sound that alarm. But I digress. So, tell me. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm supposed to point. Have you ever eaten tea before, even if it's just a fruit blend. I know, I know all of us are probably sneaking some nibbles of the dragon fruit aloe from David's Tea, but have you tried Gyokudo leaves? If you have, let me know what you think of them or how you dress them up. Let me know in the comment box below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.